Hello my friends, Hank here, and today we're going to learn how to paint up this iconic aircraft, the Boeing B-17. The Flying Fortress is one of the most recognizable warbirds of all time and has become synonymous with the United States Army Air Force during the Second World War. And this beautiful bird is about to be thrust back into the spotlight with the release of Tom Hanks and Steven Spielberg's highly anticipated miniseries, Masters of the Air, coming out on January 26th. So I figure what better time than now to make sure you know how to pin up your own model B-17s. With that said, let's hop right into it. Now one really important thing to note here for this demonstration, I'm going to be refurbishing an old completed 148 scale model kit that I made many, many years ago but these techniques will work on any B-17 kit of any scale. If you're starting from scratch here, if you just built up your kit and you haven't painted it at all, you've only got to do two things to catch up to where we're going to start today. One, spray the entire model with a coat of black primer, and two, spray the whole model with a coat of white aluminum paint. Simple as that. Also, with any model aircraft paint job, you're going to want to make sure you've got all your clear canopies masked off so you don't paint those up by accident. All right, let's get going on this new paint job. After we have our base coat of white aluminum all over our aircraft, we're going to want to spray the whole kit with a coat of hairspray. Yes, regular old hairspray. If you're not familiar with this technique, it's called the hairspray chipping method, and it's going to help us create some really realistic paint weathering a little later on in the process. But for now, we just want to carefully decant a bit of our hairspray into our airbrush, and then spray it all over our kit. Don't spray the model directly from the bottle, it's a little too irregular and a little more likely to pool on the model itself. If you have any additional questions about the hairspray technique, I have a full tutorial on the concept that I'll link to right here. All right, now that we've got a nice coat of hairspray on our aircraft and that's all dried nicely, we're gonna flip our fort over and start working on our belly. For this, we're gonna use some gray highlight from Ammo by MIG. We can go ahead and spray this all over the bottom of our wings and fuselage, as well as about halfway up the sides of the fuselage so we can feather in our olive drab in the next step. Okay, once we've got our belly done, let's flip the kit over once again and break out our first olive drab tone. We'll start here with some olive drab base, and this, as you might expect, is going to get sprayed all over the upper surfaces of our fort. Now, since I'm doing a refurb, you're going to be able to see some of the previous paint job and decals through this new paint. You won't have that problem if you're starting from scratch, of course, but I'll be covering all this up with subsequent layers as we go along here. Alright, once we've got our two base paints on here, now we can move on to the fun part. And this is going to be some color modulation. Now these early B-17s were all olive drab on top and sky gray on bottom, but the individual panels on the aircraft would often wear differently as they were exposed to the elements and the rigors of combat. So by manipulating our shades of olive drab, we can add a lot of interest to an otherwise pretty basic camouflage scheme. To start our color modulation, let's mask off our control surfaces. I'm going to use some Tamiya masking tape here to isolate our elevators, our flaps, and our rudder. Once we've got those areas masked off, let's grab some olive drab light base and spray in those control surfaces. This is going to look really subtle at first, but once we take our masks off, you'll see what a difference it makes. And once that paint is dry, we can go ahead and carefully pull off our masks, and as you can see, just like magic, how nice that contrast is. Really improves the paint job already. Now we just added some lighter modulation to our olive drab. Now let's add some darker modulation. I've gone ahead and masked off some random panels of our B-17. No rhyme or reason here, I just picked a few panels, most of our vertical stabilizer, and one of our engine cowlings to modulate a little darker than the rest of our olive drab scheme. Just like before, we can go ahead and spray in those masked off panels with our new paint, this time I'm using Olive Drab Dark Base. And when we start removing our masks, we can see that this effect starts to give our B-17 a weathered, patchwork type look and add some visual interest to our model. Alright, now let's repeat that step again, but this time with a lighter shade of Olive Drab. Pick out some more random panels, whatever feels right to you. And this time we're going to spray those with some Graugrun. This is a slightly lighter shade of green-gray, and it'll work nicely for this purpose. And once that paint is dry, we can go ahead and remove those masks as well. Next, we're going to go ahead and add a little bare aluminum to our fort. 
As you might know, towards the end of the war, the USAAF stopped painting camouflage on their heavies altogether. They would just stay in the bare metal finish. And sometimes, veteran ships that had served a long time would need repairs and replacement parts that the ground crews just wouldn't bother to paint. So we're going to go for that effect here. We're going to mask off and paint up this whole big section of the wing in white aluminum. And we'll paint up our engine cow flaps as well for an additional little metallic pop. And at this point, you guys know the drill. Once the paint is dry, let's carefully remove those masks. Alright, next step, we're going to go ahead and mask off some wing walkways. It's a good idea for this step to pull up a reference image to make sure you've got the right paths masked off. And then we're going to spray those walkways in in a little flat black. Now, this is a very satisfying step. We can go ahead and pull off those masks to reveal our nice, crisp walkway lines. While we have our black paint out, let's go ahead and mask off and spray in our de-icing boots on the leading edges of our wings and tail. Up to you if you want to do this step. Some B-17s kept the de-icers throughout their service life. Some crews removed them due to damage or concern about battle damage. So up to your discretion. All right, whew. Pat yourself on the back. All our masking is finally done. Now this stage is going to really separate your B-17 paint job from all the other B-17s out there. Let's add some realistic chipping and wear and tear. Remember that coat of hairspray we added way back in the beginning of the process? We're going to start using that right now. Grab yourself a stiff bristled brush in some tap water and start to brush some of that water over the surface of your aircraft. What's going to happen here is some of that water is going to soak down through your paint and reactivate the hairspray, which is water soluble, and cause it to release from the model. After a few seconds, while you keep dragging that stiff bristle brush over the model, it's going to start removing chips of your olive drab paint, revealing the aluminum layer that we started with. Now this step is all about artistic decisions. If you want to really beat up your B-17 and create a convincing combat veteran like I am here, you can. Or if you'd like to be a little more subtle with your wear and tear, that works too. Spend as much or as little time on the chipping as you'd like until you're happy with the results. And now, my friends, you've got yourself a beautifully painted B-17. Of course, though, we've still got more work to do. In our next video, we're going to tackle how to create realistic exhaust stains coming out of those big right R1820 engines. Be sure to subscribe right here so you don't miss out on our full B-17 tutorial series. And in the meantime, you can learn a little bit more about B-17 markings right here.